Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel at Official Oma Studios. Well, I hope you understand cryptocurrency. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable your two-factor authentication in your Gado I.O. app. So um, before we step right into it, please give us a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell. So let's move. So here is my Gate.io app. Um, just have to click on it to get started. So like you know where to log in. Click on tap on this or any part of the screen to log in. So I'm going to be logging in. Hello. Oh, this is my password. Okay, I'm gonna pause this to put my password. So login. Um okay, intelligent verification. Okay, so wait for now. SMS code, which is set to arrive at any point in time. It is 56777. Okay. 865777. So, guys, we already logged in. So, to enable our GOG um, um, authentication, we just have to click on this human light button. Oh, I don't know where I went to. Just have to click on this human light button here. Then scroll to security center. Here is the security center. In case you not, here is the security center. So tap on it. As you can see, uh, my security center is in the middle, so it is not yet strong. So what we have to do now is to click on. It's not yet strong because we already have. Uh, we only have our email and phone numbers means of authentication. So now we have to click on this place and say Google Authenticator, not other. So let's add it now. So, as you can see, um, the first thing you have to do is to download and install Google Authenticator. Add, click plus in the Google Authenticator. Click enter the keys provided. This is the key here. So, you just have to copy this key. You just have to copy this key. Then, and paste it in the, in the field, in the key field, in the Google Authenticator. Enter the account name and click add. So it now says a six digit number will display which changes every 30 seconds. The dynamic number is your Google Authenticator number. So let's just get started. Let's go to our Google Authenticator. Now we have many different, we have different Google Authenticators. We have OT, we also have um, the main Google Authenticator. So for this, I'm going to be using this Google Authenticator here. So let's just tap on it since I already downloaded mine. As you can see, I already have um a google authenticator that says gate io this is because i had to disable this to make this video just to create another one so what we have to do here is to tap on this plus sign here so i'm just showing you the step by step guys tap here and select this place i say enter a setup key so let's tap on it account name we're going to name it gate dot i o two so we are going to paste that key i copied here paste oh sorry this is not it uh, let's just go back and copy it okay here copy i hope you can see it's this key just have to click on co click copy key copy so let's come back to our authentication and paste paste add so as you can see here, we have Google Authenticate, Navigate.io2. So let's just go back here. So input, uh, so for now, first enable this, to enable Google Authenticator, you have to input your phone password. I explained what the phone password is to yesterday to facilitate transactions and all that. Then we'll now click on this place that says um um this place that says we just tap on this send sms code because my phone number is already um 
enabled on this Google in this Gido IO. So we'll just type. So let's just I'll just cover this part. Sure. So I'm just waiting for okay, it has arrived. Five two four zero zero four. Okay, five two four zero zero four. So I'm also going to cover this part to put my phone password. So I have done that. I have done that. Next thing you want to do now is to okay. Um, impute Google code. So let's go back and copy the Google code here. This code will change every, uh, is it two, 30 seconds or so? Let's just wait for it. It has almost ended. So let's just wait for it to bring out another code so that we'll copy that. So we just have to copy this one now. Yes, we've copied it. And paste. Then click on enable Google Authenticator. Invalid SMS code. Whoa. Okay, let's just enable. Let's just um make sure. Okay, you just after putting your your Google after putting your phone password, paste your Google code. Please make sure. Okay, let's click on this send SMS again. Once it arrives, we paste it and click on enable Google Authenticator. We should be fast about it so that um, it doesn't exceed this um, 50, 60 seconds. Let's wait. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're still waiting. We're still waiting. So it has arrived. We just paste it. Make sure it doesn't exceed this 60 seconds um, time frame. Let's go back to our Google Authenticator. Remember, I say it changes every few seconds. So just copy this one. Come back here and paste. Then enable. You need to be as fast as possible to do this. Wow! As you can see, it has already done. It says Google Authenticator bound. So as you can see, it's already bound. So guys, this is how you can... This is how you can create your Google Authenticator in your Gator I app. See you in our next class. Bye.